What's up guys, GGB is good here and you've tuned in to the second part of the week of Robin. If you haven't tuned in before, this is a three part series for every character where I take one character each week and do online matches one on one for Glory and Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Today's character is obviously Robin and I'm sorry my content, my weekly content is rolling out a little late this week. Um, that would no doubt be because of Memorial Day weekend. But, that being said, you should still be able to see it all by the end of the week. I will try my hardest to get it all up. Now, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into this first match. Um, I went over Robin's um, other moves, or pretty much all his moves, as far as I know. I guess I didn't really go over his grabs, but... Um, yeah, I went over his moves... Riptide is trying to rip me a new one, but I think I've got something for him. Um, yeah, so I went over his moves in the first part as I usually do. So go ahead and leave. Uh, go ahead and uh, check that out if you want to hear me talk about Robin's moves. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to be commentating these matches. Uh, what's going through my mind, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And as always, if you'd like to see a particular character next week go ahead and leave your character suggestion in the comment section below. Um, I will go ahead and get to that character by com uh, popular vote. Yeah, so right there, I tried to use an attack, uh, an aerial attack. I, I pointed this out. Um, oh, that's going to hurt. In, my, in the first part of the week of Robin, um, I have... Oh shit! Excuse <clears throat> part of my French. Um, I've been noticing that Robin has rather short range on most of his aerials, so he's not. He didn't even beat out Captain Falcons, and his aerials come out, I guess, slower than Captain Falcons. Um, I didn't beat out Captain Falcons back air uh, with my forward air there, and I was trying to. I mean, it could have been that I was just slower, uh, which is most likely, but that being said, I'm going to go ahead and steal some of my damage percentage back. Now, I like to use, um, if I'm just sort of approaching the opponent with Robin, um, and I'm trying to use an, oh, an aerial attack, I'm going to go ahead and use the neutral air because it hits on both sides um, in front of him first and that is valuable to me um, because, well, to be honest with you, I, I think it's awesome. Uh, if you look at the beginning of, the, of this fight, um, I used it and he was actually behind me and I still hit him, which is pretty useful. You can't really convert it to much, but... Um, it, you, you could weasel your way into it. Um, of course, the combos in this game are not like most fighting games. They're sort of, uh, much more improvisational. I would say. Of course, there are a few bread and butters, but, uh, but not, they're not that long. So, I got bodied by Riptide. I'm going to go ahead and give him a best 2 out of 3, because I like to give everyone a best 2 out of 3 if you haven't tuned in before, because I believe you can beat anyone in this game at least once. So, let's see. I would say Robin's best bet is to use um, Elfire to your advantage. It's a lot like PK Fire uh, on Ness's part, I'm wow, 60% already. I haven't touched him. I haven't touched him. Okay, yeah, I would try to use L fire to your advantage, although you can get punished pretty hard, as I did in the beginning of the game. I went up and used it, and he got 60% on me, and now he is 100. And he killed me. So, as you can see. That strategy can be dodged a lot, but of course, I'm not the world's best Robin player, so I don't know the most opportune moment to be using that move. 
or any of his moves for that matter. I'm just trying to make do with what I got. Oh wow, I stage spiked him. <laughs> that is how you get back into this game. Whoa. So I like to use it, um, I think a pretty safe point to use it, rather, is uh, when your opponent's knocked down, that was a good kill on his part. Uh, good games to Reptide, totally outplayed me as Captain Falcon. I think a good place to use it is when you have your opponent knocked down and they're gonna, they can either get up neutrally, roll forward, or roll back. I think it's good to throw it down as soon as you think they're gonna get up, because if they guess wrong, or if they aren't predicting it, as they shouldn't be because you're using it just as you think they're going to get up, <clears throat> they have, uh, I guess, a 1 out of 3 chance, really, or of rolling into it. But I think usually people like to roll away from you, so maybe you want to try to get it on the other side. But, of course, sometimes they like to roll towards you, and, um, you know, that happens as well. And... If, you, if that happens, they'll roll into an L fire. Of course, you can use it as a wall, sort of, and start charging up your Arc Thunder a little bit. Um, it, I believe it... Oh, great, another Captain Falcon. I believe it... Oh, boy. Okay, well, I'll take that kill, though. That's how you get body, Captain Falcon. What, you think it was, it was luck? You think it was luck? Exactly, it was luck. And so that's my point. That's why I like to give everyone a best 2 to 3. <laughs> I like um, Robin's down tilt the most because it comes out the fastest, I think. Oh, crap. And you are sort of, I, I think Robin is sort of a a sitting duck in the air as well, because you have to be pretty close to be effective in the air with her, or him, um, considering, well, I mean really considering you're kind of floaty in the air, a lot like um, which character we're using recently that had trouble in the air. I forgot. It, it was maybe one or two weeks ago. If I don't... Oh, if I don't... No, no. I just used side B, probably. I think I just used side B instead of B. I was trying to see if you drop the Elwyn book, do you still have an up B? Because <laughs> then you probably shouldn't be using your jab as much as... I don't know, maybe normally would. That's interesting to know. I, I think I just use side B instead of up B. I don't think they would uh, give you a limited number of usages. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Good games too. What is this person's name? Hoops. Hoopez, rather. <laughs> Because that is definitely not how you spell hoops. Okay, on to the next round with Hoopez. Um, and as always, I hope you guys had a nice um, Memorial Day weekend. I know I did. Uh, saw my family, etc. I hope all you guys got to see your family as well. Or at least had a fun time. Because that's exactly why this content's going up late. Because of vacation. Alright. Get the rematch here. Of course the rematch is not going to go well for me. <laughs> so, where does Robin have trouble? Uh, what matchups does Robin have trouble in? I'd say Captain Falcon is one of them, despite the fact that Robin 
has projectiles. I just don't know how to use Robin that well. So if I'm up against a character that can apply a lot of pressure really fast, such as, but not limited to, Captain Falcon, um, then I'm going to have a lot of trouble. So you might want to take that into account when uh, counterpicking. Wow, did I get another the first kill again? By luck. <laughs> um, yeah, you might want to take that into account when using Robin. Because while she does have projectiles, she's not the fastest character. I think Robin has a lot of trouble with fast characters. And uh, characters that can reflect or absorb her projectiles uh, win against her as well. Wow, that was awesome. I respect it. I respect it. Gotta respect the moves. Gotta respect the moves. Gotta respect that grab, most importantly. Been seeing a lot more Captain Falcons lately. I totally like it. I like Captain Falcon a lot. Nice grab there. Ho oh, ho. Yeah, so a good thing. I think Robin wins in the air when you get away from your opponent because you can use your up B move. Um, it sometimes spikes, I believe, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, but if you can get away from your opponent, like DI away from your opponent and then use it, um, they'd be crazy to follow you because you've got those attacks coming out. And there's really nothing they can really do about it unless they just air dodge. Fool! So I brought it back, guys. I brought it back. I actually won the rematch. That's awesome. Cool. So we're going to go to round three with hoops. I hope I win. Um, I've actually surprisingly pulled out wins <laughs> during the uh, at least parts one and two of this, uh, <laughs> this week of Robin. I have no idea how. Robin is not my first go-to character, I'll tell you that much. But I'm definitely uh, learning to appreciate her. Um, for sure. I think it was a fluke me winning there, but... Wow, Elfire is 9%. That's not bad. I guess it should be doing more damage. I've got home field advantage, so I should win. You know how it is. Yeah, so sometimes if you get the Elwyn jab, um, you get a lot of damage. If you get the fire jab or whatever it is, the ah. if you get the fire jab, you get more knockback. I think that's that might not even be true. I think the Elwyn jab is just better. So I I think Robin just has two versions of each one of her moves, except for Elfire, Nosferatu, and um, and I guess Elwind, her up B move. And uh, I think her dash attack as well. You know what, I, I take that back. But I think she has a stronger version of her jab and a weaker version of her jab as well. Oh man, I'm getting shield grabbed way too much. I've become too predictable. And Hoops is taking advantage of this. Has he figured out my game plan? He tried to stage the stage like me again. That was a good grab. He's gonna probably do it again here, so I'm gonna go above him. But that he's got an answer for that as well, unfortunately. Whoa, Taunty! Nice. <laughs> Yeah, okay, buddy. See, now is a good time to... You saw how I used the up beam move. It's a good time to use it there. I got away from his onslaught of up aerials, and uh, I used up B. I got... Wow, that was dumb. Ah, uh, well, he too stalked me. All right, good games to hoops. I will hide away and cower away in shame and move on to the next one, as it were. Uh, we'll probably only do one more match, really. Okay. 
it's really annoying. Um, yeah, so we'll do one more match here. Not with hoops, but with someone else. Your game's hoops. You bodied me, Matt. <sighs> Alright. Of course, the, um, the hype train for E3 is revving up and is in full steam. Um, and, of course, that only means that Batman Arkham Knight is that much closer to coming out as it comes out on June 23rd. So go ahead and check out, in honor, well, this is the best level, by the way, uh, go ahead and check out my playthrough of Batman Arkham Asylum to get hyped up about Batman Arkham Knight, where I will be doing a, um, all right, Nickel. It's a good element. Um, where I will be doing a playthrough on this channel of Batman Arkham Knight. Of course, I'll also be streaming it live, uh, hopefully the day it comes out, I don't know. So go ahead and check out my YouTube stream. Not my YouTube stream. What's it called? The Twitch stream. GGB's good. Twitch.tv slash GGB's good. This guy is either trolling me or just being that guy. <laughs> Um, yeah, but on Twitch, I like to play a lot of RPGs, so if that's not what you're into, you know, don't go ahead and check me out. But every now and then, I will play Mario Kart, Smash Bros, etc. And of course, you guys can give me a suggestion of what game to play. I've been uh, having a lot of fun on the Twitch streams. Uh, we've got a lot of awesome viewers, that, a lot awesome regulars, rather. Um, so go ahead and join the party there, if you can. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's either putting on some decent pressure or doing nothing at all. <laughs> Maybe he's playing with one hand. Wow. How did he get away from that? Alright, I'll just kill him. Whatever. I, I don't know if we're going to play this guy again. Definitely not. We're probably just going to end it after this. Because I don't know what he's doing. I didn't know Sheik's uh, dash attack came from above. I guess if blocking mattered in this game. <laughs> if blocking wasn't just shield based, then that would matter. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess we'll end it with a win. That's Haipu, I guess. Oh, well. Um, of course, thanks so much for watching, guys. Tune in in a couple days for the uh, exciting finale of the Week of Robin. Until next time, guys, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you like me. And I'll catch you then. Peace out.